Hello guys, welcome back to Divine Time and Tarot. This is Tanya. If you are new to the channel, welcome. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Cross watchers, you're always welcome here. Good morning, Divine Time and Tarot family. Welcome, welcome, welcome new subscribers. I love you guys. I thank you and I truly appreciate you. I see you guys have really been trying to help me out on the views. I truly appreciate that. I really do. Um, we're here doing a general reading for Aries. This is for the third week of August 2021. Um, Aries, I've already shuffled sage, prayed over these cards. You do have some overall energies just that I already pulled out for you from the Moonology Oracle. You have a fiery climax is approaching. Full moon in Aries. So around your birthday time, something is going to be going down. Yeah. Something's going to be going down. At the bottom of the day, you got a personal, personal issues reaches a resolution. So you finna decide about something. I think you've been in this indecision about indecisive about a situation. And it's about something is about to come to a head. Yeah, something about to come to a head. Um, some of you guys are gonna be exploring your options too. Yeah. Um you got somebody in your past. What is this? Um that is possibly wanting to reunite or maybe you're wanting to reunite with them you you figure out which side which story resonate and what doesn't if it doesn't leave it alone and keep it moving give me one give me a romance card for aries i said one safe place explore yeah some of you guys are going to be blowing your options some of you guys are going to move on from somebody one card for Aries. What is it? Why can't I just get one card? Mm, just one, guys, please. Just one. Just one. Okay, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, you got building a future at the bottom of the deck. Ooh, I like it. This one is a keeper. Your love life is ascending to the next level. Ooh. We and you have it's a vibe. Enjoy the good vibes and energy with this person because they are like a no other. Have you guys are you guys dealing with a soulmate connection? Somebody that you are very, very attracted to? Is that the situation? Aries, is that the situation? Let's put some cards down here. Give me a little bit more overall energies for Aries, God, angels, ancestors, Holy Spirit. Thank you so much. Thank you, Thank you so much. Give me a little bit more overall energies for Aries. This is for the third week of August 2021. Okay. All right. All right, all right, all right. Looks like somebody does want to reunite with you with the Three of Cups being here. This is a celebration, reunion, uh, party. Maybe you're partying with your friends. You're going to get a victory in something here. This is happiness, friendship. Um, you're being strong. You're controlling your emotions here. You're being patient, compassionate. Um, some of y'all have had to take a step back from something. You needed to rest. You needed to recuperate. You needed some time out. You were overwhelmed in a situation here. Now you're trying to heal from something. You're going to get a message here, possibly from a Leo, Sag, or Aries, that's going to make you very, very happy. Yep. Something is going to make you happy. This is a message. Mm -hmm. This could be a new passion. Mm. Yeah. We have somebody wanting to take action here. Towards a new beginning. 
somebody's wanting to take action towards a new beginning here um let's get this stuck What is the situation here? What's the situation here for Aries? Y'all, the chariot. This is determination, victory. Some of you guys are going to be traveling. What's the challenge here? What's the challenge here? Some of you guys could be getting a new vehicle. Ooh, the challenge here. You got two cards that came out. Why, guys? Why? You got the Knight of Swords here. You got some, uh, maybe an air sign, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius that possibly want to come in and start some drama with you. Or this person could have air in their charts. This is somebody that wants to come in and speak some truth to you. Mm -hmm. This person is very determined too. Stop it. Somebody wants to stop you from moving on is what I'm hearing too. This Knight of Swords. This air sign. The Chariot could be also dealing with a Cancer. The Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, somebody want to be single. But somebody's trying to stop you too. Somebody don't want you to move forward, Aries. Somebody do not want you to move forward. Somebody wants to build a future with you here. But the Nine of Pentacles in your foundation, you're thinking about moving on. Being, you know, it's just like, I can be abundant alone. I look good. I smell good. I get attention. I'm not, hey, hey, hey. I get attention now. Don't get, don't get it twisted. What is the, the the near past? Oh, your cards are wanting to just talk, talk, talk. Yeah, the death card. It could be dealing with a Scorpio. This is your near past. You ended something with somebody and moved on to be single. But this person ain't giving up. I feel it. This person is not giving up. Somebody ain't giving up on you. Somebody is determined to have you back. Yeah. What is the future? What's, what is the, the future? What's crossing? What is... Oh, God, can you talk already? What's going on in the present moment? The Two of Cups. This is a soulmate connection here. This is attraction. This is a loving union. Um, This could also be engagement now. This could be engagement, y'all. Um, Didn't I say somebody want to send you a message and you go, it's going to make you happy? Somebody is wanting you back big time yeah but this two of cups this is a soulmate connection this is we on the same page we see eye to eye this is equal love all of that good stuff what is the future what is the near future what is the near future oh my god i told you your cards want to talk you got the ace of wands somebody some of y'all gonna be starting something new and creative um, this is something universe is offering you. Whoever you pray to is offering you something new, creative, very passionate, something you're passionate about. This is also a determination, a creative new cycle. And then we have the six of cups in the reverse. Let me tell y'all something. Listen, this is not the first time I tried to do y'all video. I tried to do, I did it. But it was it wouldn't download right. It just it was just it was it was just unusual. It just didn't work out. You also had the six of cups in the reverse too, and the two of cups, and the nine of pentacles. Some of y'all want to be with somebody. Some of y'all don't. We also had the third a third party on the romance card. So there was some interference here in your situation. Is why you moved forward and this person and ended something, but this person is wanting you back. This person doesn't want you to leave. This could be your definitely your soulmate, could be dealing with a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio that won't. Now, I believe somebody won't 
a commitment or is this person just saying that just to keep you there keep you stuck with them as hey that's what i'm hearing y'all but The Six of Cups in the reverse, as far as your near future, this is bad memories. This is feeling out of place. Memory loss. This you're not feeling, you're not feeling good about the things that happened in your past with a soulmate connection. Okay, at the bottom of the day, you also had the sun card. At the end of the day, everything is gonna work out for you. Whoever you pray to has your back. But listen, y'all, at the end of the day, somebody's going to get left out in the cold. Somebody's going to get left out in the cold here with the Five of Pentacles under the sun card because you, like I said, there could have been some interference here is why you wanted to be single. You wanted to move forward. This person didn't want you to go possibly like you ain't going nowhere period you know i think you gave somebody another chance here but let's see like i said at the bottom of the day you got the sun card most positive card here this is success happiness prosperity love joy satisfaction you know good news so let's go ahead and clarify what is it out what i want to i want to clarify this chariot why is the chariot here with the knight of swords and the knight? The knight of swords and the king of swords. Somebody was definitely trying to stop you from moving on. I think you moved on. I think you left somebody for a while. And I think you went back to this person. I think you went back. You ended something and I think you went back. Let's get some clarification here for Aries, guys. God and your ancestors, Holy Spirit. Why is it the chariot? Okay. Hmm. Some of you guys moved quickly from someone. Even though they were trying to stop you, you moved on quickly. You got some information. Some quick, fast communication came in. Some clarity came in. And you moved quickly away from somebody. Bottom line. Give me one more for the chariot. Yeah, because somebody had options. Somebody was confused. Yep, somebody was dealing with somebody else. And you moved on. You became single. You ended it with this person. Could have been a water sign. Why is the Nine of Pentacles here for Aries? Why is the Nine of Pentacles here? Yeah, you took a step back. Controlling your emotions. Decided you was going to be single. Could have been dealing with a fire sign. Particularly a Leo. Why is the death card here? Yeah, there was a lot of competition, fussing, fighting, and arguing. Why is the death card here? Why did things end between Aries and their partner? Why is the mm, yeah, somebody was being very manipulative, the magician in the in the in the reverse, and, and something was just not moving on. Something you weren't able to manifest something here. Why is the magician in the first? And this person was a manipulator. Yeah, you couldn't manifest that new beginning that you wanted. Why is the Ace of Pentacles here with the Magician in the reverse? Yeah, somebody. Why is it here, guys? And you know your worth. You moved on and started something new and creative. You moved, you moved on, period. Huh. You definitely could have children with this person, too, that you moved away from. Yeah, the Six of Swords at the bottom of the deck. You moved on from this person. But did you go back? I feel y'all went back. Because you do love this person. Why is the two of cups in the present moment? Why is the two of cups in the present moment? Someone feels that you're their soulmate. Yep, you went back. They apologized to you. You accepted that apology. They came in strong too. They came in strong. Just like I was saying in the beginning here. With the knight of swords and the king of, king of swords. An air sign. It doesn't have to be an air sign. But this person... They kind of like, I don't know, did they force you? Was this like forceful? They were definitely determined to, to, to get back with you or not to even let you go, but you left. But it looks like you got back with this person. They apologized to you. Why is the Knight of Swords here? 
Yeah, you're in love with this person. Ace of Cups. You reconcile because you're in love with them. Some of you guys are moving on to new love. But you did reconcile with this person that you consider your soulmate. Six of Cups. Yeah, you reunited with your soulmate. Yup. Why is the Ace of Wands here in the future? Why is the Ace of Wands here in the future? Why is the Ace of Wands here in the future? So you're working on a new passionate beginning with someone that you have a family with, this Ten of Cups. This person emotionally fulfills you. You definitely have family with this person. Children. Why is the Six of Cups in the reverse? Why is the Six of Cups in the reverse? Why is the Six of Cups in the reverse? The King of Cups. You don't have good memories with someone that, as far as the King of Cups, could be a water sign. This person doesn't express their feelings a lot here. Why is the King of Cups with the Six of Cups in the past, in the reverse? Oops. Mm. This person is stressing. They feel that you're going to leave them. They're stressing right now in the near future. They feel that you're going to leave them. With the cherry here at the bottom, nine of swords and the nine of pentacles. They, 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 I think they feel that you want to be single. You want to be single. Give me some more information on this king of cups, nine of pentacles and the nine of swords. Yeah, they stress and they think you're going to leave them. <clears throat> but it looks like you trying to work something out. Yeah, you're going to call judgment on something here. Are you in love with somebody in your past, Aries? It looks like you could be in love with somebody in your past. Some of y'all going to start something new with somebody in your past who you feel is your soulmate. Ooh, yeah. Y'all got the hermit at the bottom of the day. Y'all about to ghost somebody or something. And the two of wands is underneath that. Yeah, y'all going to end something with somebody here. Yeah. I need some... Let me get an outcome here. I feel that y'all are in love with two people as I'm hearing too. Somebody here is in love with two people. What's the outcome here? The star card. Have faith. The future is bright. <clears throat> Somebody definitely wants to heal a situation here. Could be dealing with an Aquarius. I see you getting yourself balanced. You're healing. You're doing a lot of healing here. You're definitely getting yourself balanced. This is light at the end of the tunnel. That's why I say about the sun card. This is light at the end of the tunnel. Um, give me some more information on the outcome here, guys. Something is definitely going to work in your favor, Aries. We have the High Priestess. You need to use your intuition. Meditate. This is not the time for action. It's time to develop your intuitive gifts and trust the wisdom you receive. One more card for the outcome here. So use your intuition because something is still being something is still being hidden. There's something else that you don't know. Okay. You know, but I guess you probably not taking action on it, possibly. Give me one more card for the outcome for Aries. We have the world card. It's going to be a cycle ending and you're going to start something new for some of you guys. You're going to start something new. A time of joy, a joyful accomplishments, a brilliant success. You be a spiritual enlightenment, freedom to do whatever you want. Be proud of yourself. Some of you guys are going to let something go. I think some of you guys are going to return to someone in your past that you love, that you feel is a soulmate of yours, y'all. That's what I'm hearing. Let's get some advice. 
Oh, no, I don't want these cards. I'm not used to these cards. Give me some advice, y'all, for Aries. Guys, I say y'all. I'm sorry. Guides, angels, ancestors, Holy Spirit. Give me some advice for Aries. <clears throat> What's the advice for Aries? It's time for y'all to take a rest, heal, meditate, pray. Yeah, the Ten of Swords. It's time to end something. Something that no longer serves you. Something that's been, that's been hurting you over and over and over again. Whoever has been stabbing you in the back. Whoever's been deceiving you, lying to you, cheating on you. Not giving you what you deserve. It's time to end it. Yeah, time to take a step back. Pray, meditate. Yeah, that should. this is the advice from, from Universe. It's time for you to turn your back on something because you got, there's bigger ships out here. There's definitely bigger things out here for you. <clears throat> and we have the King of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. There could be something very stable and grounded that's coming towards you, Aries. This is something that's going to be long-term, a commitment. Yep, stability. We got the four wands at the bottom of the deck. You are reuniting with somebody. You giving somebody a second chance, somebody in your past. You giving somebody a second chance. It could be a Leo, Sag, or an Aries, somebody in your same sign. I told y'all, this is the same, the same energy that I got from y'all first video that I did and had to um, delete it. Yeah. Y'all giving somebody in your past a second chance. You know that person is your soulmate. Y'all on the same page. Y'all just, it's a vibe. Y'all got a vibe. Y'all got a very vibe. I mean, y'all vibe with this person. You can't help it. It is what it is. There's no other one like it. There's, there's like no other. You feel good with this person. Y'all be, be on point, period. Aries, this is what I have for you. If you resonate, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you, bye.